Hello, my name is Janine Sheffert. I am the Education and Engagement Manager here at Seed Savers Exchange. And today I am going to talk about how I plan my own personal garden. So when I do this, it's a very creative process and it often is something I do over the course of months. It is something that, especially in January and February when the winter starts feeling really long, I love to dream about having my hands in the soil, the first salad that I get to eat and just being out, having the sun on my face and being around all of that life. So the first thing I do is write down all of the crop types that I would like to see in my garden. And at this point, I just put everything I wanna see. I don't let reality get in my way. And every year I have some things that I grow uh, year to year and I save seed from, and that's always the same in my garden. And every year I also try new things. And so sometimes I, we just got our new Seed Savers catalog and flip through this and see what's new this year. Oh, I remember this safflower, we grew this out. I really wanna try that. Um, so excited about that one. Also, oh, this um, asparagus that's featured in the front. I've never actually grown asparagus before, but I've always been fascinated by the three pound coffee can asparagus story. So I really wanna try that this year. I'm excited about that. So that's gonna go on my list. I will also be excited to get the 2023 yearbook. I would really like to grow some dahlias this year. So I will look through here and find someone who is growing and listing dahlias. And it looks like this year, um, in 2022, my friend Alex actually grew some, so we'll see if he's listing them next year. Um, and so my space, what I've realized that I have time, the limits of what I might have time for, um, are this 45 by 70 foot garden. I just draw out a big rectangle on paper and I start thinking about where I want to put things. Uh, so one of the things that I grow every year are good mother stellar beans and they like to be on a trellis. They like to have lots of sun. And so I will put them at the edge of my garden here and I will have two rows of beans um, about 30 foot long. And I also love to always put zinnias at the end of my rows. I always grow gift, uh, gift zinnias. There are these bright red zinnias and they attract birds and butterflies and all sorts of um, pollinators and they're stunning. Uh, so beans and zinnias. I also, at the edge of my garden, will put some sunflowers on the outside. And I just keep going like this and kind of draw a little picture of what I want my garden to be. Um, as you can see in some of my previous year garden sketches, uh, they can be pretty elaborate. And later on in the process, I have to deal with reality a little bit and, and sometimes change some of those details. Um, but this is still where I really like to start and start dreaming. Uh, one of the things that I always grow also is squash. And I always grow three different kinds of squash. I always grow a butternut squash, uh, an acorn squash, and this potimarron squash. Um, and the reason that I pick these three is this because they are actually three different species of squash. They will not cross with one another. And so I know that if I only grow these three, that I can save seeds from each of them every year. Now this past year, uh, I did not save seeds from my acorn squash because I also grew for the first time ever these lovely gourds, which were a lot of fun. And I also grew zucchini and summer squash. And all of those things um, are the same species as an acorn squash. So I did not save seeds from any of them. But I have plenty of seeds from previous years and I actually like to rotate each year which of these three I'm saving seeds from so that I do also have an opportunity to grow new things um, and different things each year. So squash take up a lot of space and I love squash and I grow lots and lots of it. And so I will dedicate probably this entire third of my garden to squash. 
And then I start thinking about what other priorities I have. I really love making pepper mash, so I will have a good row of hot peppers and a few plants with sweet peppers as well. And by the time I'm done with this stage of dreaming, I have a fun sketch of what my garden might look like. And I will continue to refine this until the day I start planting. And in fact, as I plant, things may change and I will make a new map of where I'm actually putting things in the garden and continue to take notes on that throughout the season. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is always a really pleasurable experience to be creative and bring this into the garden. I hope you also enjoy whatever garden planning you do this year.